Is it all in proportion? Where's your mum? How's the weather down there? Fucking a dwarf's on my bucket list. <laughs> Good luck with that. It won't be me. <laughs> Can I have a photo? Uh, no, is the answer to that. You know what it's about, it's that all that. <gasps> I've seen a dwarf. But what makes me laugh is when they try and take a secret one. One of them little sneaky things that I see they're doing on the tube like oh, that. Oh, I hate that. Do you know what what I mean? like, and the flash comes on. I know, yeah. <laughs> and it's going, excuse me? They've got no control over it. No control over the discussion about it. Why are you taking a photo of me? I was taking a photo of the floor. Why are you? Where's your mum? I'm in town with my mates, walking around, going to the shops. I'm like, people come up and they go, are you okay? Where's your mum? People come like electrician people to the door. It's like, is your mum in? I used to work with, with children, with preschool children. And when we used to go out on outings and that, I used to dread it because the staff used to always huddle me in. I heard of friends who've gone into a restaurant with family or something and they've been given a child's menu. Fucking a dwarf is on my bucket list. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you want me to say after that? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Come on. No. We're not possessions or people. Like, it's not like we're a task. I think it's generally to, like, show off to their mates, mm. usually. They'll say, like, bloody hell. I could, I bet I could swing you from the chandelier. That's why my love life is just shambles. Because... Because everyone's just, like, bucket list. <laughs> you get the ones that want to be pen pals. You get the ones that just want to screw you because you're short. And then you get the ones that are actually a bit more open-minded, a bit more decent. Yeah. I'm yet to find those ones. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by the other two. Oh, yeah, I've never been with a, with a guy your height or whatever. Okay. And then, yeah, sometimes I, if I like him, I might just go, <laughs> go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Oompa, loompa, oompa dee doo. Do I look like I'm Maureen? <laughs> yeah, do I look like I have green hair? The oompa loompas, they're like creatures, aren't yeah. they? And we're not creatures, we're people. Mini me used to be a massive one. Oh, look, it's mini me. Oh, look. I'm not mini me, I'm not a bold man. Is it all in proportion? I've had a lot of people ask me to like, like, um, see how big my penis is. I've never seen another guy's knob, so I don't know. Knock it out yeah. Do you want to have a look? Poof, there you go. Do you want to compare? Even from my friends, they just, so, um, they're like down there, you know, is everything oh. all right? I've had someone ask me if I can have sex. Yeah. And I'm like, well, everything's functioning, yeah. so, um. It makes it better because you don't get the same, you get different angles. Yeah. Like, true, yeah. you don't expect, like, rather than like, the average bloke might be coming like that, and I'm coming like that, which hits the spot. Mm -hmm. So, so she, so she says. Ah, oh, can I pick you up? Do I look like a trophy? Have, have I got handles? Have I got hand? Do I look like an FA Cup? You could try to pick me up, but it'd be pretty difficult mm. to pick me up because I'm like quite heavy. People don't realise you're just trying to have fun and you know go out with your friends or whatever and then people are like trying to pick you up. Someone will just grab you and pick you yeah. up almost like you know bear hug you like that. Yeah. And when you're like that your arms out you can do nothing about it and it's no, quite exactly, it's, it can yeah. be scary. It can it? be scary. At one point somebody was like you know doing the Lion King thing and they were like Simba and I was like I just felt so embarrassed. My worst experience was when um, a group of like school kids picked me up and oh. they put me in like an industrial bin. Oh shit. And then locked me in there. Stood on a bar stool to reach for something and someone literally touched me in between my crotch. I was promoting for a strip club and then I was talking to these group of lads and I felt something in my leg. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And like, this, this kid had his knob out and he was like, he was, to be fair, he was quite, he wasn't that close to me. He was like, like a few uh, meters away, but he was like pissing on my leg. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what taking the, the fuck? I was like, I let, like taking the piss, literally. <laughs> Oh, I hate this word. Midget. Nah, don't do it. Don't say it. Like, it makes us sound like a creature, yeah. in a way. The word midget comes from a circus performing person of proportionate height. Yes. And we're not clowns. When I was growing up, I never knew the difference, which was more hurtful, the N word or the M word, because I got both. It's always like, oh, you fucking midget. Yeah. Look at you, you midget. It's all right, people taking the mic and having their little moment of fun, but there's some things that actually log in with us and they never, ever leave us. So, you know, it just, just to bear some things in mind, it's, you know, your little five minutes of joking 
is a lifetime of memory for us, people like us. Do you ever wish you were taller? Most people with dwarfism, when they were a child, they think, oh, I wish I was taller kind of thing. But as I've grown into an adult, and probably the same for you, I love it. My mum always says to me, she always goes that I'm four foot two, but I've got a personality of ten foot. I just imagine it, but I don't wish it, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought certain things would yeah. be easier if I was. Yeah. Going to the shop where you can reach the top shelf, yeah. you know, that's like a dream, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love the person who I am. I would never change. Mm. I think just to experience it. So you just want to just see what step like. outside, have a look and go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so different to the world and it brings so many positive things that average height people would wish to have. Some of it is like you're a little mini celeb kind of thing. <laughs> I've done the work like Panto, which I love so much. Like I've been a model. And I've played badminton around the world. I was Britain's smallest bodybuilder and um, I think I still am. There's people's attitudes, that's what needs to change, amongst anything else, and it's people's attitudes, because if that changed, then that will stop all the phones, all the mickey taking, all the staring. Then that's like the top of the hill, really, people's attitudes, mm -hmm. and yeah, change that, and then we're the perfect world. Do you get, you know, like a foot long sub? Are you sure you can handle that? It's half the size of you. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, I can. Have you not seen me? <laughs> Five minutes later. Thank you. <laughs>